Ecosystems in Mexico by Fatima González. Terracio Ecosystems in Mexico. Subhumid Yango. The Yango is full of tall green trees due to the rich soil. It has monthly temperatures that exceed 18 Celsius, with a rainfall that typically lies between 175 centimeters and 200 centimeters. The subhumid Yungo distribution in Mexico. It is located in San Luis Potosí along with Tabasco and Veracruz to the south of the Yucatan Peninsula. The abiotic factors of the subhumid jungle. Humidity. Rainfall. Soil. The biotic factors of the subhumid jungle. The tiger. The spider monkey. The elephant of the jungle. Desert scrub is the finest an ecosystem that restricts to a lesser extent of flourishing life, usually less than 200 centimeters of rainfall. Extreme variation of temperatures up to 20 Celsius of variation. Desert scrub distribution in Mexico. We find the desert scrubs in Chihuahua, San Luis Potosí, Caletero, Baja California Sur, and Yucatan. The abiotic factors. Air sediment and temperature. The biotic factors. The glove mallow, the jack rabbit, and the prickly pear. Temperate forest. Ecosystem dominated by tall trees with temperatures between 12 and 23 Celsius. Rainfall of at least 200 centimeters, perhaps up to 350 centimeters. Temperate forest distribution in Mexico. It is distributed at great extent in the north and south of Baja California, Norte of Oaxaca, and Chiapas. Temperate forest aviotic factors. Air, rainfall, soil, temperate forest biotic factors. Asian black bear, bandicoot, and the barbit. Aquatic ecosystems. Oceans. Ocean ecosystems are divided into four zones, internal, pelagic, benthic, and abyssal. As a general rule, species diversity is higher in internal zones that are most often submerged by ocean distribution in Mexico. Mexico is in the middle of two oceans, the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. The abiotic factors of the ocean. Sunlight, ocean waves, the biotic factors of the ocean. Marlin, the neon blue guppy, and the starfish. Ponds and lakes. Ponds and lakes are relatively still bodies of water with little or no current generally isolated from other bodies of water such as rivers and oceans. Ponds and lakes distribution in Mexico. These fresh waters are located throughout the central and western coast of Mexico. Abiotic factors. Air. Fresh water. Biotic factors. Water skippers. Beavers. And the bass fish. Coral reefs. Coral reefs form in the shallow waters with warm temperatures. The many of these ecosystems have formed along the shores of continents. Coral reefs distribution. Coral reefs are found in the Mexican Caribbean, by Yucatan and Quintana Roo. Abiotic factors. Temperature. Sunlight. Biotic factors. The clownfish. The green turtle. And the starfish. 
environmental services gotten from its ecosystems in general. In the world, there is a huge amount of ecosystems. We need to create conscious that many animals depend on them like we also do. We needed to get our energy by the food chains. By taking care of the ecosystem, we can get clean air, no pollution, and definitely more abundant fresh water. Ecological restoration. Ecological restoration is a process of assessing the recovery of an ecosystem that has been degraded, damaged, or destroyed. By helping the ecological restoration, we improve biodiversity conservation, improve human livelihoods, and improve ecosystem productivity. This means ecological restoration can be a primary component of a conservation and sustainable development program throughout the world. Bibliography 